What is up everybody, it is Guy Smiley here, and in this video we're going to be reviewing this package that I got from Classic Minifigs. So I bought this package on, I believe it was like their May the 4th release, and I bought three uh, custom Classic Mandalorian minifigures in here, and I'm very excited to see what these look like because this is really the first time that we've had like a very uh, affordable classic Mandalorian minifigure and here is one of them and they come in these really cool packages these really cool uh cases I should say and then we have another one right here we have this is the one that I'm so excited to take a look at I think that it's going to be super epic looking um because it's the first one of that character that we have of the new style Boba Fett from the Boba Fett show on Disney plus and then we have Jango Fett right here and I was kind of worried about this one particularly because it's sand blue and I was really hoping that it would have been I really wish that it would have been like made in blue just because it would be more classic style but we'll see what these look like right here so this is the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian show on Disney plus and here is the the back right here so they all say the same thing on the back of the case right there. This is very interesting because they used to package their minifigures differently. They used to come in these kind of packages right here. So a little bit of a different uh, packaging style for these minifigures right here. I guess if they use this, they would still have to ship it in a box. But now they can just ship it in a bubble mailer because these are very, very sturdy and will protect the minifigure very well. So here is the Mandalorian right here. And he does come with a face. I didn't know he actually came with a head there. He comes with a printed head as well as a spear. And he comes with a uh, brick tactical. Uh, brick Tactical Mandalorian Helmet. Uh, there, there, there's been some other one of these made, so, but they're all like a hundred bucks or something. Like they're so, ra they're either they're either so rare nowadays that they're like six hundred dollars, like Beck Customs, or they are uh, like they actually they act like actually just cost a hundred dollars retail. So that is a really cool minifigure to get. And then we have Boba Fett here, and this is my favorite one, just because the helmet is printed here. So this, Classic Minifigs is the first guy that is has, a, has ever printed on the Brick Tactical helmets here. So really cool for him to be the first person to ever print on them. And then this figure also includes a printed head as well right here. There's the head right there. So that is really cool that he includes heads. He didn't actually advertise that they included the head um, on the uh, the initial images of these guys. And then here is Django Fett right here. So this figure is looking really awesome with the leg printing, the torso, and the printed brick tactical helmet right here. Looking very nice and crisp and clean printing right there. And then Django Fett also includes a printed head. Very awesome printed head. Interesting that they chose to give Django Fett and Boa Fett both flesh tone heads while they gave the Mandalorian here a yellow head. Um, it definitely uh, kind of, kind of. I, I wish they had given the Mandalorian a, a flesh tone head as well, just so they would all match. And I feel like it just kind of looks out of place in terms of the design of the Mandalorian's body and the color that they used to print it on. Uh, this dark brown color is definitely not like a classic color. It's it's actually a very a very new color. Uh, it definitely does not kind of fit with like the pre 1998 vibe that a yellow head gives. And the design. The design of these kind of looks very like kind of around 2005-ish, 2005-esque in terms of like how detailed it is. So the yellow head really doesn't match there in my opinion. In terms of accessories, Django Fett includes two blasters. Boba Fett includes a uh, one big blaster there. And the Mandalorian includes a official Lego spear piece. And they all, they both include uh, hair pieces when appropriate. Uh, Boba Fett of course does not include any hair piece because he's bald in the show he doesn't need one um and and then uh Django Fett here and the Mandalorian also include custom cloth capes as you can see here here is the Mandalorian's cape right there it's just a gray cape that is a little bit smaller than Lego's official capes and then Django Fett here includes a custom Paul a, a custom poncho uh so this is custom cloth it's a custom cut from cloth it has a single hole in the head that uh, fits around the neck and uh, surprisingly it actually stays down over his body uh, fairly well 
well. Unlike some other custom ponchos that kind of like have a tendency to like pop up, this one stays down and in a very nice position very easily there. Django Fett's hair is an official Lego piece here. It does, it does say Lego on the inside of the stud. I took it off and looked. I just don't know what minifigure it is from. Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below if you know where this hair is actually from. And you can have the, the poncho on there while he's actually wearing his helmet. And this combo looks really cool. It looks very accurate to what he looked like in episode 2, Attack of the Clones, during that scene when he was like fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi. I believe he was wearing a poncho while he was wearing his helmet as well. Here is a closer look at the exquisite printing on both Django and Boba Fett's helmets here. Classic Minifigs did a great job printing on these brick tactical helmets. Probably an even better job than Lego themselves did from back in the day because it's very easy to find uh, one of the original Django Fett minifigures with misalignments on the helmet printing that uh, Lego themselves made. And here is, I also wanted to compare these to an official Lego Boba Fett, classic Boba Fett right here, just so you can see the uh, comparison between the helmet printing here. And as you can see, they really did take some inspiration from the classic Boba Fett on on their Boba Fett that classic minifigs made. The, uh, the yellow lines on the side of the helmet, those are present on classic minifigs' version, and those two like arrows on, uh, the, on the top of the helmet, as well as like the two-tone kind of helmet pattern there with like the brown and the black on uh the, on like the cheeks of the helmet and even on the body as well there's like a lot of similarities there which is really cool so you can see that they definitely did their their research and uh kind of copied the classic style there the uh, the legs themselves are in the style of like the cloud city boba fett which i don't actually have because it's like a th like a three thousand dollar minifigure these days um and then Django fett's helmet is uh very similar to lego's style as well um, I don't have an official Django Fett either because it is very expensive. It's like $300. So if you do want a uh, classic style Django Fett, classic minifigs is definitely your best bet because these minifigures here, they only cost 20, about $29 each uh, for them. They are based in Australia. So like the, the, the currency conversion does go a little bit up and down um, as time goes on. But this minifigure is uh, definitely a lot cheaper than any uh, official Lego classic Django Fett, Django Fett you'll be able to find. And even this uh, this classic Boba Fett here goes for like $50 these days. So this Boba Fett right here from Classic Minifigs is even cheaper than the official Lego Boba Fett. There is no back printing on any of these custom Mandalorians by Classic Minifigs. And there is no arm printing. And I, the arm printing is something... I, I know they didn't include it because of the cost that it would take. But I definitely would have paid like $10 more if that is what it would have taken to get arm printing on these minifigures. Because I know that classic minifigs would do it absolutely perfectly if they were able to do these helmet prints this well and you know we've seen a lot of custom mandalorians that are like digitally printed and uh the, the arm printing just looks grainy and there's like spray over it. and i know that classic minifigs would be able to do it just so well so i really wish they would have like had that maybe as like an add-on even that would have been very good if they would wanted to still offer the like the 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 the, the very cost effective version for 29 dollars while having like the arm printing version for like $39 that would have been so cool in my opinion um, they did also make some interesting design choices when designing the actual uh, the actual body prints for these minifigures because when you remove the legs, you don't actually remove the whole belt print. The belt print is uh, partly on the torso itself there. So if I were designing this, I probably would have rather had the belt print just be on the hips of the legs so that you could take off the legs and then use the torso if you wanted to on its own. But in this, this way, you can't actually uh, use the torso on its own without having like that remnant of the belt print uh, right there on the bottom of the torso there and then it's the same way on Django Fett as you can see right there his belt print actually goes up a little bit onto his torso it makes for a very original design I will say because the belt print is a little bit thicker than what you would see on other classic custom Mandalorians the Mandalorian on the other hand does not have any printing on his helmet he just has a plain silver brick tactical helmet uh, I do think that maybe some helmet printing would have spiced up this guy and made him a little bit more original in terms of separating and uh, uh, differentiating him from other custom Mandalorians that have been made. So I would have liked to see maybe like just a line down the center of his helmet. I think that would have spiced him up a lot. And 
and I definitely would have paid like three extra dollars for that considering these guys are $29 and the Mandalorian here runs you $27 and uh, which kind of makes sense because there's like less printing on him so I would have paid a little bit more to get that that helmet printing. When I was doing the unboxing I didn't notice that there were stickers actually included in the package as well. We have one sticker with the classic minifigs logo and then we have a sticker for each of the Mandalorians that I bought. We have Boba Fett right there, we have the Mandalorian and we have a Jango Fett with a custom art design. So all in all I highly recommend that if you're a fan of classic Lego Star Wars minifigures that you definitely pick up these guys from classic minifigs. These are probably the the most affordable and highest quality custom classic Mandalorian minifigures that you will ever see made and uh, I think they have still quite a few in stock uh, because they've been in stock for quite a while now on classic minifigs website. I'm quite frankly I'm surprised they didn't sell out quicker uh, just because of how much hype there is around custom Mandalorians right now. Uh, everybody seems to want them. So if you guys do want these, these are a great option. Once Classic Minifigs sells out of something, though, they will not be restocking it. So if you do want them, don't hold off for too long. Be sure to leave a comment down below with your guys' thoughts on these minifigures and let me know if you guys were able to pick these up for yourselves. And be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more custom LEGO reviews, mocks, and other cool videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.